question three. Question three is actually testing students on the topic on uh, kinetic particle theory and the concept will be on the rate of diffusion. Okay, so I've already written down what are the factors that affects rate of diffusion. They are temperature as well as the relative molecular mass of the gas that we are looking at. So with that uh, background information of what you need to know, okay, by now, by the time that you sit for your end of your paper, all right, let's take a look at the question. The table below shows the average speed, average speed of four gases at 25 degrees Celsius. So we have gas X here. This is the unknown. And they are asking you what could be the relative molecular mass of gas X provided the information on the speed of uh, different gases. All right, so uh, we have oxygen, X, helium, and hydrogen. Let me write down the MR of oxygen. O2, which is 2 times 16, you will get 32. Helium, helium is a noble gas, so I will write AR instead. AR of helium, it is equals to 4. MR of hydrogen, 2 times 1, it is equals to 2. And when you compare, right, oxygen, helium, and hydrogen only, you ignore gas X. What can you see? You realize that there is a trend as MR decrease or for helium AR, SMR decrease, speed increases, correct? So what's the, um, what's the difference between oxygen and gas X? You realize that X has a higher speed. X has higher speed than O2. And based on the trend that we observe, huh? For speed to increase, the MR must be lower. So what can you conclude? You can conclude that gas X has a lower MR than oxygen. Okay, and when you look at the options, the only option that has a value lower than that of 32, it will be 28 option A. So your answer is A. All right, so uh, however, let's say you have... Um, uh, a smaller option, you need to compare it further with helium. You realize that helium, it has a much, much, much higher average speed. So this means that helium has a lower mass than X. Okay, so the MR of X, MR of gas X should be between the AR of helium 4 and the MR of oxygen 32. So this is the range that you need to be able to uh, pick out, all right, based on the data that is presented to you. So the answer is A.